I cannot be expected to work. <laughs> Not on Strawberry Shortcake Festival Lord. Day. Okay. All right. The Chicks present This Week in News. So this week there's been a lot going on with the presidential race. Yeah, Hillary Clinton is now the presumptive Democratic nominee. Go Lady Parts! Yeah, so now they have a criminal in a pantsuit. That's awesome! Yay. Trump has been called a racist because he suggested that a judge of Mexican descent may be biased against him in the case of Trump University. And I can't imagine why Trump would say that. I mean, Mexicans and Mexican-Americans truly love Trump. Yeah, even the youngsters. Yeah. We're going to kill Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, is that a fact? Why are we going to kill Donald Trump? We have bathrooms to talk about. We cannot waste time here. <laughs> right. Okay. So the head of the ACLU in Georgia had to resign recently because she was in the bathroom with her daughters and three transgendered women came into the bathroom, deep voices, the whole nine yards, completely freaked her and her daughters out. Yeah. And she was ill-equipped to answer their questions. And she's very uncomfortable with that whole policy stuff that's been shoved down our throats. So she resigned. It's interesting how people's perspectives change when something happens to them and their kids. And speaking of changing perspectives, Richard Simmons is apparently going to become a chick now. His publicist denies it, but I believe that Bruce Jenner used to deny it, too. Mm -hmm. And I kind of believe that this is true, but, you know, whatever. We'll see. Yeah. Also this week, we saw a boy who identifies as a girl decide that he wanted to compete on a girls track and field team. Yep, this happened in Alaska, and Natafon Wangyot made history this week by being the first dude to win state honors in girls track and field. Not a fun. <laughs> Yay! First a dude wins Woman of the Year, and now this. And where are all the feminists when, you know, men are taking over our bathrooms, our awards, and now our sports? <laughs> They're only screechy when it comes to on-demand abortions. And free birth control and tampons for everyone. Way to represent, feminists!